eating instant noodles is not bad. Who doesn't love to slurp noodles? And it's hot broth during rainy season? Or, a way to feel ready to start the day? Or an option when hungry during busy hours? We all know that noodles are convenient, quick and easy meals. That's why a lot of people loves instant noodles on lazy days. And why not? But, as they always say, in moderation. In this video, we are going to discuss the nature and possible effects of consuming too much instant noodles. The world's first instant noodles were invented by Momofuku Ondo of Nissan Foods in Japan in 1958. The first flavor was a classic chicken ramen that is marketed under the brand name, Chicken Ramen. And that's when instant ramen industry started. As of May 2022, the World Instant Noodle Association says 118 billion servings of noodles were consumed globally in 2021. And China being the highest with 43.9 billion servings. In fact, there's a museum dedicated to instant noodles and cup noodles, as well as its creator and founder, Momofuku. The Cup Noodles Museum Yokohama. This museum features different exhibitions and attractions that inspires and find the creativity within you. Having said so, people really love instant noodles. But, eating too much of it may harm you. Most instant noodles have harmful preservatives. The butylated hydroxyanisole or BHA and tertiary butyl hydroquinone or TBHQ. These two preservatives are usually chemical preservatives from petroleum industry. The main purpose of these is to prolong its shelf life. And consuming too much of these preservatives can cause health issues. According to studies, BHA can affect your endocrine system. Endocrine is made up of all body's different hormones, so the reproductive system may be affected, based on drug metabolism and disposition. Long-term exposure to TBHQ are carcinogenic. Therefore, it may cause cancer. Instant noodles are often made of maida or white flour. Almost all important nutrients of white flour are lost during processing, and is not easily digested. Too much white flour increases the blood sugar in the body. That's why, a diabetic person should limit its consumption. Instant noodles are loaded with saturated fats, which is one of the unhealthy fats. Eating too much saturated fats in your diet can raise LDL cholesterol or the bad cholesterol in your blood, which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. The sodium levels in instant noodles were high and variable, within and between countries. On the average, one pack or cup of instant noodles have 1800 mg of sodium, which indicates that instant noodles are extremely rich in sodium. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2300 mg a day and an ideal limit of no more than 1500 mg per day for most adults, especially for those with high blood pressure. This means that a pack of instant noodles will bring you well over half the daily recommended amount of sodium. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that eating instant noodles in more than twice a week is associated with 68% higher incidence of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a group of five conditions that can lead to heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. These are visceral obesity, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol, insulin resistance, and hypertension. What are these five conditions all about? 1. Visceral obesity. The fat that surrounds the internal organs is generally considered as visceral fat. In this illustration, upper body fats or the apple shape have more visceral fats and have the higher risk of weight related health problems as compared to the pear shape, or lower body fats. 
Based on studies, upper body fats or the apple shape are gained when high consumption of instant noodles is practiced. 2. High triglycerides. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your blood. They come from foods, especially oils and from extra calories. These are the calories that you eat, but your body does not need right away. Your body changes these extra calories into triglycerides and stores them in fat cells. When your body needs energy, it releases the triglycerides. 3. Low HDL Cholesterol HDL or high density lipoprotein cholesterol is a good cholesterol. When your good cholesterol is low, and bad cholesterol is high, this may cause blockage of the veins. 4. Insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is when cells in your muscle, fat, and liver don't respond well to insulin and can't use glucose from your blood for energy. The insulin in the body does not functioning well, thus, the blood sugar rises. 5. Hypertension. A common condition where the blood pressure is high. Take note that these side effects will not immediately occur. This will take years little by little when consuming in high quantity on a regular basis. Here's some advice. Choose instant noodles with lower sodium content. Add some vegetables and other protein source to make it healthier. While the noodles is slightly cooked, throw the water to eliminate some of the chemicals. Then, recook with new water. Remember, eat moderately.